You are now listening to Feeding Count us down off Alonzo. each other. In five, four, three, two, one, and we're live. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot how to do it. Uh, I forgot how to podcast. It's I never been knew. so long. That's my contribution for today. Great. People start. don't forget. Great start. It's been three Fresh weeks. Out. It's been. Yeah, it's been. Three weeks? Is that right? Since we recorded one? Yeah. I think two. It's been at least two. We did one without Jason. Jason. And he's here. It's probably our best one ever. <laughs> probably. Uh, <laughs> sexy music, uh, Jason. Uh, I go. Uh, I got to do the intro first. Mm-hmm. I got to intro, intro. Welcome to Feeding Off Each Other, number one Feeding Off Each Other podcast in the world. Uh, <laughs> is that how it starts? <laughs> like, I'm really rough. I yeah. can't remember. <laughs> I like that. Uh, welcome to Feeding Off Each Other, a weekly podcast where we feed off the knowledge, talent, humor, and knowledge of our guests and each other and their knowledge and their knowledge. I'm Matt Dennison. Mm-hmm. I think. And I'm joined, as always, sometimes, not always, mm-hmm. often, by the one and only Jason Ball and Chain Lucas. <laughs> ball and balling ball and chain. chain. He's wearing a ball and chain. Ball and Excellent. Chain. <laughs> Two and chains. I'm... Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> and Jason. I am also joined, as always, uh-huh. almost a perfect record, mm-hmm. David. Single and ready to mingle, Wiggins. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> is this true? You ready to mingle? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Let's sometimes. mingle. You can mingle with us. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, and, oh, and, oh and, and, and we are joined, as always, by the one and only Big Al. Yeah. <laughs> Big Al. He's our Jamie, our Jamie Vernon. He sits mm-hmm. behind the cameras and presses buttons, even though we don't really need him anymore. AI can cut down these podcasts, you know, nah, multicam a- editing. AI a thing. doesn't have the wicked facts and jokes that I have. <laughs> Actually, it does. <laughs> <laughs> you can. It's ironic because AI spelled out looks the exact same as Al. Oh, yeah. Big Al. Al, AI Al. Big AI. Big AI. Big AI Al. Al, Al. I'm actually Chad GPT on my, I'm always texting on my phone, that's why. Sorry, Chad GPT? Yeah, that's me. Uh, Do you feel uh, that your job is being threatened right now by AI? Well. Is it a concern? I was away and I get a a text from the Slack that's like, oh, check out this European guy's edit. I'm like, it's been one week and they've replaced me. It's been. (laughs) Yeah, so, okay, so. There is an AI software that can edit down this podcast. We have five cameras, and it edits it down in, like, five minutes, Dave? It doesn't edit the podcast. It just cuts between the cameras. Yeah, right, right. It's not, but like, yeah. removing, you know, no, all I, of Dave's Holocaust jokes or whatnot. <laughs> it's, it's, and this, it's only just cutting. But you said it was perfect. Yeah, it even knew when to cut to the wide, and I don't know how. Like every once in a while. It would just, just be like, let's pepper in some wine. And I was like, tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it it's quite brilliant. Uh, but there's still more to the process of well, he, editing and uploading a podcast than just doing the multicam. Yeah, and Alonso also brings up videos for us. Yeah, AI yeah. can't do that. He also yeah. makes sure that it's all recording. Mm-hmm. He, it, like, he's, he's got to be someone to monitor it. So he's not for obsolete. now. Yeah, he's not obsolete yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Getting there. <laughs> So, uh, how, how are you guys doing? You got mental health check, okay? Mm-hmm. How's everybody's <laughs> mental health? We just came off a big shoot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, first podcast in a while. Um, Jason, mm-hmm. mental health check, how are you? I'm, I'm all right. Okay. Dave? I'm all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm just still tired. <laughs> Dave, how are you feeling about the podcast? Because I'm mm. feeling like uh, enthusiasm was low to even do the podcast today. It's very low. Uh-huh. You had to ask me three times, are we doing a podcast? We I think podcast? I only are asked twice. Last night or yesterday, you were like, why, why, why are we doing a <laughs> podcast? I'm like, uh, Tuesdays what? are when we do podcasts. Then <laughs> why do you think I'm asking Alonzo to come by on a Tuesday? Oh, I thought he was going to edit a podcast. Uh, well, well, I thought we would record. It's the gangs back together. 
Yeah, we can record. And then the other week, <laughs> you were saying you made. Uh, I could just be a joke. You're uh-huh. a funny guy. Uh huh. Make lots of jokes. I lots did. of ha ha hoo hoo oh, hee hee jokes. Tee-hee-hee. And you said uh, something about how you you're on the podcast just zoning out, just blacking out, just uh-huh. not paying attention. Uh huh. Uh, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about this. Well, that was only during mountain biker episodes. Uh, yeah. Oh. I but, cannot talk about it without but, prying. <laughs> because sometimes, you know, we're getting in the weeds on on the, the mountain biking topics, which I know nothing of. And, hey uh, this you know, guy I, is a great big phony. And I can feel somewhat a bit uh, superfluous and unnecessary. <clears throat> and uh, I start to trail off mentally because I, I literally don't know what's really being talked about. But we're not a mountain bike podcast. I'm just going to get it clear, right? This is a comedy podcast. You sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> you sure about that? You I don't sure know. about that? <laughs> uh, it's just hard because we know so many mountain bikers I don't and they're blame interesting you. people. And like, hey, what about when we're talking to Christina Chapetta? We ended up talking about noodling and frogging. Yeah. Don't tell was, me you're zoning out during the frogging. No, I was very engaged. I I brought I believe I brought the noodling up myself. Mm. <laughs> um yeah, no, it's it's good. I just I, I have moments. Yeah, well, where I kind of wonder, do I, is, am I, should I even be here right now? Yeah, what about all the love you get from the chuthers? In, uh, in, in the in the unless you're sending these in yourself with <laughs> AI, all the Dave love. I'm like, oh, this guy's freaking hilarious. <laughs> I heard he's a great kisser. I think there's been, <laughs> in terms of positive feedback for individuals on the podcast, uh-huh. I feel like the most has been towards you, Dave. You're the yeah. smartest, guy, smartest in the pod. guy in the pod, for sure. According no, to no, Dan, it's Peter not. Chad. It's not me doubting. Uh, it's not me <laughs> doubting lot. whether I could be on the podcast. It's just on certain episodes, uh, I'll, I'll be a bit more quiet or feel a little bit like a third wheel, fourth wheel. Okay, so this is the podcast where Dave, or yeah, a metaphorical, where, third where Dave wheel. falls back in love with the podcast. This is I, it. this is the turning point. I enjoy the podcast. I enjoy <laughs> doing <Fuck> it. my <laughs> life. <laughs> um. No, I, I was qu- the only reason I was asking if we were recording today was we're coming off a shoot and we got stuff to do and we don't have a guest book today. We and missed two weeks though. Yeah, but we have two backlogged. Think about the chuthers though. They're worried about us. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Anyways. So how's the head, Dave? Because you had a little bit of an accident. Yeah, I, I, I had a concussion. Tell us. Oh, did you send this video to big AI over there? No. You should send the video. We gotta, we gotta bring it up. Can, oh, I don't want to bring it up. Well, why don't what? you want to bring it up? It's embarrassing. Oh, come on. It's so it's embarrassing. gnarly. If if it was us on a bicycle, we would definitely be sharing that. I look like like a cartoon, like I look like Bambi or something, and it's just like like <sighs> Dave, you, feel, you feel like there should be the sound that's like whoop 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 whoop. whoop. We got to break through the there's insecurities so many, today. Yeah, there's so many embarrassing videos of you online already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I think that's it's mellow. I thought you were gonna be like, "There's so many of me." Like, I thought you were gonna meet me halfway, and you're like, "Dude, you have humiliated yourself <laughs> yeah. dozens of times." Yeah, you already. It's true. it's true, though. Wait, what are the other embarrassing ones? Oh, like all of the YouTube videos <laughs> like, that what? you put out. You wearing a fedora uh, and how to be a filmmaker. Right, right. You uh, belching oh, as Doctor Bong doing. and how to be talk, Canadian. Talk amongst well. yourselves. Uh, you crossing yeah. your arms and <laughs> nodding in the Plaza One commercial when you said <laughs> that's the last time I'm ever gonna be on camera ever again. <laughs> 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 Wait, we're gonna break through these insecurities, Dave. Okay. I kind of, st- I don't stand. Hey, by if you guys that, have, is it, if you're listening and you uh-huh. have love for Dave, please send some love oh, in, the, in the uh, in the voicemail. Voicemail. What is it? Speak again? pipe. Speak pipe. Jesus. Speakpipe.com slash feeding off each other. Are there peaks message, pipes? Please. Uh, peak, peaks pipes. Oh yeah, I think there are some some pipes. Dave's emotions are fragile, and we need you to send band aids in the forms of compliments. I'm <laughs> trying to find the video of myself. Oh, here it is. Okay. 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 So Dave was playing hockey. He uh, had a little accident. I got Mm -hmm. a text message Mm -hmm. about maybe 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. about to go to bed. And he said, hey, Matt, I... You up? (laughs) You up? (laughs) You up? (laughs) He said, I fell on my head or I hit my head pretty hard Mm -hmm. and uh, I'm feeling out of it and I might need to take a break tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I thought you, I don't know. I imagined you got checked or something. Nope. Or I had no clue. 
No, it was uh, it was literally warm up. I actually, when I called you, I had thought it was during the game, and then someone's like, "No, dude, that was warm up," because <laughs> I couldn't remember what day it was, and I couldn't remember what rank I was at, and I couldn't. I was trying to like think through the things I had to do that week when we were prepping for our three Pit Viper ads. And I couldn't remember what any of them were called. Like, I was doing, like, a mental check of just, like, okay, what do I remember? And I couldn't remember, like, fucking anything. And the, and the best part was you said, oh. <laughs> so, okay, there it is. Run that back. Put it Run on loop. Back. Let's watch that, like, eight times in a row. So what happened was I'm literally just gliding into a corner to, like, get a puck. And my foot, I think I hit, like, a little bit of a divot in the ice. And I l- just completely <laughs> lost my foot. Hey, don't laugh, Jason. <laughs> Don't slow it because the set sa- play at normal speed because the sound Jason, is so good. Jason, Jason. You're a menace behind that sound. I sent, Jason. I sent it to my dad and I said, Don't show mom. I think it would upset her. And then my dad goes, Why do you think I would want to see it? And I was like, Oh, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. And then your friend Matt said, Put it on the internet and show literally yeah. everybody. So wait, let it play out. I try to get up and I, I like oh. can't stand up. So. Jeez, was was this filmed on a potato? Yeah, it's from like the like full. The rinks have like full uh, full camera setups. Look at that guy, flips the, just takes like a quick slap shot there. Oh, one more, like right next to your head. One more. Oh god, this sounds. Oh, Dude, I'm sh- crap. That sounds. I'm sure the Chellers really enjoyed listening to that. So Sounds great in their AirPods. Well, we can. We, <laughs> when Alonzo edits this later, he can edit that that sound out. Try to get an AI to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the f- you, you know the term when they say like, "Oh, he got his bell rung." Mm-hmm. I swear, I had the craziest physical physical experience right after I hit my head, where I heard like it wasn't like a ringing; it was like a clicking in my brain. It was like. Yeah. Like this crazy, it felt like, I don't even know how to describe it. It felt like there were like, so I was mean, losing like parts of my brain or something. It was, it was wild. And the, the best part was started. that w- you said, I think I have a concussion. Mm-hmm. It was very apparent you had a concussion. Oh yes. If you super, can't remember what day it is. I was super concussed. My, I had to get my parents to come pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got to yourself laughing there, jerk. Uh <laughs> well, I, I shouldn't be I shouldn't I definitely should not have been driving a car so I went luckily I was at a rink that was like down the street from their place so I stayed at their place woke up the next day I went to go do prop shopping for our production and I got in my car and I immediately felt like I was drunk like hammered drunk and I just dro- I drove myself directly home and just like laid on Into the couch your home. <laughs> yeah <it was> just <laughs> through, your through the wall and uh, yeah, it was like a couple of days of feeling pretty out of it, and then man, what'd you do for two days? <laughs> no, none, none of that. None of that. Oh, that's my thing. <laughs> I got worms. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I only took one day off work. So the day after that, I the next two days after that, I worked. So happened on a Monday night. Didn't work Tuesday. Worked the rest of the week. And uh, I nearly fired you. It's this fucking close. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then I felt really terrible that weekend, yeah. and I wasn't sure if I was going to be functional for our Pit Viper shoot. In and all then. seriousness, that is a gnarly fall, mm-hmm. and it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It happens to everybody, man. The, I think the, the worst accidents are always the stupid ones, too. <clears throat> always, always. I think part of it too, because I've I've deconstructed watching that video a few times. <laughs> I'm I was really cl- my back was kind of close to the boards, so I didn't. I don't think I had like the leverage to actually compose myself and like not fall on my head yeah that badly i don't know it, when i watch it i'm like how did i not protect myself at all it's crazy but oh, man i mean yeah. you have one second one second to put your hands out <clears throat> and i was talking to my mom the other day and she's like well you've never really had a concussion before and i was like no i probably had like four or five and she was like what and i was listing the scenarios when what else um a group of friends of mine and I were walking downtown. We, we had walked from East Vancouver to English Bay uh, on Canada Day. This is Canada Day 2015. And we were walking all, along Denman Street uh, towards English Bay in Vancouver. And this car was just like in an alleyway. And the windows were down. And the guy yelled like a homophobic slur or something at one of just like the world or one of us or something. 
And one of my buddies was like, hey, man, fuck you. And then all of a sudden we got like cornered by <laughs> like six random sketchy people. Say what? And one of my friends just ran away and like got, <laughs> got out of there. And then I just kind of stood there and was like, okay, I can't just leave all my friends. I don't know. It brought daylight, like 5 p.m. on Canada Day, which is kind of hard to say. But um, <laughs> all of a sudden there's this like tall, like Portuguese looking man with a, a man bun and like really curly hair and like, Big and like, yeah, <laughs> and like a, uh, like a white tank top. And he was like, I feel like he was like six foot three, but like wiry, but like strong, but wiry. And he's like, he's like bouncing like up and down like a boxer with his like hands up like by his head. And then he just starts swinging at me. And I was like, oh, no, man. Like, I was like, there's been a misunderstanding. That was like my <laughs> way of defending myself. Like, no, 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 no. We're not fighting. And he got a few oh, quick. Bitch. He got he got a few quick shots in on, on my head and uh, definitely concussed me pretty Whoa. good. Oh, yeah. you got punched in the head. That escalated head. quickly. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I had like a huge like goose egg on the back of my head. Whoa. And uh, all my friends... All my friends, none of them got, I was the only one that got punched. <laughs> All right. Well, you only get one more concussion story. That was a long one. Yeah. I don't, sorry. I, I, um, I've been concussed once, fell on my face. I already told the story a million times over uh -huh. the teeter totter and I've been punched in the head once after I, I pants the guy in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I felt so bad after. I was like, all right, all right, take a shot. And I put out my shoulder like he was going to punch me in the shoulder. And mm -hmm. he punched me in the head. <laughs> I did not see that coming. That's sick. Oh, God. Anyways. Jason, concussions? What? Many. Too many. That's it. Elaborate. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I've had five or six, like, pretty bad ones, I guess, where you, like, forget and see stars and... I've never been knocked out though. That's a, that'd be scary. Yeah, I, I, I got completely knocked out. Like I, I was in a daze for for hours. That sounds confusing. It was days for hours. <laughs> no, I. It was um, yeah. Like I woke up in the hospital, kind of thing. Like what's going on? Did I get mm. hit by a car? And it was so bad that I had to um, uh, disrupt my sleep. I had to wake up every couple hours or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, because there's so the you risk die. of the risk of falling in a coma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you? Did you take those precautions or? No, apparently that's only f if you go unconscious, I mm -hmm. think. Exactly. I, don't, I think people, not that you shouldn't take concussions seriously and, and definitely don't take my medical advice, but my understanding was that, yeah, it's, you only have to do those if, if you go unconscious. And if there's like actual risk of like brain hemorrhaging. So how do you feel now? I feel pretty good. Like I felt, I felt really tired this weekend from our shoot and I think... I think like more tired than I would normally be because I think my brain was still kind of like getting back to normal. But uh, brain wise, I feel pretty okay now, which yeah, is good. We're good. We're we're glad. We're glad you're still here. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Keep wearing a helmet. <laughs> Probably like I, died without a helmet. I have to get a new. I have to get a new helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, it's like one major blow, and you got to replace it. Mm -hmm. Same with biking. Mm -hmm. One and done. They're not cheap too. Hockey helmets? Mm -hmm. It's not like part of like a rental package? or It's like your stuff? Yeah. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> rental package. What the fuck? I thought, I thought like you would sign up for the league and they're like, here's your kit. And you're like, cool. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that's the, that shows the last time I played sports. <laughs> no, a helmet's like $200. My God. Yeah. That was a $200 fall. Something like that. Jesus. Well, should we listen to some pipes? Yeah. What? Pipes? Well, I mean, I feel like we got to get into something before we get into the pipes. Okay. Okay. Should we give a round of applause for our man, Jason, here? Ball and chain, oh, Jason Lucas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My, yes. For my yes. ball and chain. Clap for right. our guy. <laughs> bro, it's fire, bro. Mm. Jason, Jason, fucking Jason. Mm -hmm. What's that Jason is now engaged, everybody. He is now off the market. Holy no. fucking shit. We just lost hundreds of female <laughs> listeners. <laughs> There's in literal a seconds. Ones of them. <laughs> All 20 in. female listeners we have. 20? <laughs> That's generous. Our demographics are like 95% male or something. <laughs> it's probably because we lead with like porn jokes. <laughs> uh, well, I've been withholding every question I have for the podcast. Once again, oh. not asking you questions in real life and not being a good friend. I just I thought everyone say, hated me. No, no, no. <laughs> and whenever I've tried, whenever I might have a, a, like a 
overhear a detail, I, I leave mm. the room. I'm like, I don't want to know. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> also, we were in intense production all last week. Yeah, last week was just insane. Monday yeah. was the first day we saw you anyways. Yeah, I guess set. we should set that up for the... Like, I got back from that trip the night before... Or the day before we started a shoot. So it was, like, mm-hmm. no time to, like, even just talk. Mm-hmm. Two weeks. Yeah. Jason left two weeks before our biggest shoot of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so far. Da- yeah, so far. Mm-hmm. Dave gets a concussion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Worst thing ever. I was panicked. It I was, was like, uh, it was short-handed. crazy. AI nearly takes Big Al's job. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, uh, yeah uh, Big Al was out of town, too. Yeah, he, he was... Uh, down south. In Australia. Down under my... How, how candid can we be with this, Jason? How candid can we be? With what? With 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 uh, your proposal. Oh, I got nothing to hide. We want to know everything. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, tell us. Because before you left, we, we asked, are you going to come back? Uh, are you going to come back <coughs> single? Are you going to come back engaged? And, yeah. And you said, I don't know. Uh, you kind of didn't that was, know. That was true. I didn't know. Yeah. Because I didn't have um, the ring. No. I, I didn't Or a plan. Wait, or did anything. we spark? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> or the reason. I think like at this point, I was like thinking of like future things that could work well for a proposal, like future mm-hmm. places or trips or whatever. But you kind of need some things to do the proposal. So I didn't have any of that yet. <laughs> Crankworks Joyride. Yeah. Um, um, dirt Jumps. Like 930 after my morning poo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Such a good time to propose. I mean... You're not going to be nervous. All right. Well, so we want to know everything. <laughs> I want to know. Where'd you get the ring? Online. Um, I went to... So, yeah, like ring shopping in general is kind of a weird thing because that the whole industry of diamonds and everything is, mm. is a weird thing. Blood and diamonds. Yeah, exactly. You just Googled blood diamonds. Yeah. Cheap. I said... <laughs> <"Shh."> <laughs> exactly. Um, I didn't want to say something there. Firebrush. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> yeah. But no, like you, you, there's a lot of, obviously we live in a major city. There's a ton of ring shops here. And even then, I, like walking in, it almost feels like a car dealership where this, someone comes up to you mm-hmm. and they're like, well, this is this and this is that. And oh, those other places, yeah, they got diamonds, but they're not like our diamonds. <laughs> and our diamonds are better and blah, blah, blah. And every place we went to, I was like, I hate this. I hate this experience. I hate the pressure. Um, but we did Wait, go. A, 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 a place? Like a physical place? Yeah. Before the trip. Yeah. Oh. Because I think my partner, Lauren, and I, um, I it's fiance. such a, yeah, fiance now. <laughs> such a big, it's such a big purchase that I'm like, well, let's like go to some places together and see what you like and like. 25 cent ring pop. Yeah, exactly. And um, see what you don't like so that I don't go into this blind and get you something worth a lot of money that you don't like. And then there's like this awkward and you have to return it after. Um. So we went to a bunch of those places, but even then, still, like, still... Uh, so you did this months before? Yeah, months and weeks. Okay. Yeah. And then I had a pretty good idea of what she liked, so then I just went online. Like, online, great experience. Could select everything you want. Amazon. Amazon.com, <laughs> .ca if you're in Canada. Um, you way, just, way less greasy guys with, like, cologne on that are, like... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, like... Such good customer service. The thing ships so quick. And you're just like, yeah, I don't know. It seems great. Um, and if you don't like it, the return policy is like fantastic. And you can just sh- send it on back and get all your money back. So, yeah, online. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I always found the whole proposal experience to be interesting. Like I remember learning, like here, the first time I heard that people go and shop as a couple my like it was like learning that santa wasn't real i'm like but i thought the whole thing was a surprise you know mm-hmm. what i mean but you like pre but of course you like pre-discuss whether you're gonna get like married or something like it's the kind of person Not always uh, i know but like i think that's a, a bit of a fool's errand to just propose and not have had any of those conversations I think it's a super huge fool's like it's just like you're setting you're almost setting it up so that when you ask it there's a 50 50 chance that you're also going to break up in that moment Wait, but when did you get the ring? Because we asked if you were going to come back and engage like the day before you left. No, it wasn't the day no. before. What, two days? Two it's, days? No, it might have been no. a week or two it was before. like a week or two before. Yeah. Yeah. I got, no, I got, it was not a week or two. I Definitely think it not. Was. It was not two. No, it was. Uh, it was maybe one week before. I didn't have the ring one week before. 
I had it two days before it left. Okay, oh, yeah, because wow. it was very tight timeline. That's yeah. all I remember. Yeah. Definitely was not two weeks. Okay. No I think way. It, I think it was the week before. It was like, I remember I asked. I was like, all right, this is like one of my last chances to, to ask. Is it rude? Because I... I I told Spencer mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I asked if you're going to come back engaged and he took it as like, I was pressuring you and he's like, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. I was like, I don't know. I was just asking my friend like something personal, like uh, in a good way, sportive way. Yeah. I don't take that as a rude thing. I think the ruder question is like asking people when they're going to have kids. Mm. That's, that's the one that apparently really fucks people mm, good up. Good segue. Well, it's also, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm pregnant. Um, <laughs> No, I think it's also in how you ask. Like, yeah, yeah you yeah. have the family members. They're like, "Well, when are you gonna do right. it? When are you gonna lock it in?" Okay. And, and, and so, have you had that a lot? I've had that at other weddings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. like, so you're thinking about it? Yeah. I'm like, well, now I'm like very drunk at a wedding, <laughs> so I'm not thinking about much. But also, <laughs> you're coming into wedding season now, so now the summer must feel like like less pressure. Yeah, because yeah. you're going to be going to weddings probably, and you're going to be like, eh, don't worry about it. I've already done the thing. We're, yeah, it's okay. It's in process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So take us through the uh, pro like. Did you? Did she know that you brought the ring to Spain? Did she have a good idea? Of what? Uh, did she know? No, yeah. no, she had no idea. Um, she was expecting it. Though. I think she was like, "Oh, it could happen on this trip," but mm -hmm. there was no hints or any like i didn't how many how many previous trips do you th think she had the same thought it could happen <laughs> a lot <laughs> a every lot. trip and sometimes <laughs> even on trips i'd be like this would be such a six box for pose <laughs> and then we just walk away <laughs> your, your shoelaces keep getting untied and you keep going down on one knee i've like, never done that i've never like oh, I, yeah. I, that would be so mean that's, mean, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a lame move. yeah yeah i would not do that but um yeah she's probably had that thought more than a few times <laughs> you're watching a sunset she's like it's gonna happen <laughs> i just crack a beer <laughs> <laughs> yeah this would be great no! <laughs> um I, okay i want to know like the days leading up to it like did you know the spot you because um, yeah lead up to yeah. the moment to when you actually did it where you were all that so i brought the ring in my backpack to spain um, and I just always had it in my backpack in case there was like a good moment. I didn't have any plan. I didn't really, I was like, oh, these spots like could be cool, but maybe there'll be people. Maybe, um, I don't know. It just is also like wanted to get photos of it during it happening. And I'm like, well, maybe I can't fly the drone or maybe there's no spot to like set up a self timer photo or something. So I had it in my bag all the time. Um, and then the first week we were in Spain, the second day I got food poisoning oh, yeah. <laughs> really bad, like really bad, the, the worst food poisoning I've ever had. So what'd you eat food? I don't like, I honestly don't know. <laughs> Cause we, Lauren and I shared every meal and she didn't get food poisoning and I was like destroyed. And it was kind of funny cause I, as I was uh, leaking out of every oh. hole in my body, exactly. Well, it was more like, There's bears oh. <laughs> <laughs> <That's disgusting. laughs> and more female viewers have dropped off. <laughs> <laughs> the, our final one, <laughs> our final one, <laughs> and it was Lauren. <laughs> it was Lauren. Yeah. Um, as I was doing that for like five days, I was like, "Wow, the fact that she's still with me in the hotel room is like this is a good relationship." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, just gonna go. <laughs> yeah. She could have gone anywhere. <laughs> um, so that was like that first week. I was like. I don't even want to think about this because I feel so bad, like mm -hmm. so shitty. I don't want to like remember this memory as also I was like nearly throwing up and sweating profusely. And so let's bake it into the podcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, the first week I didn't worry about it, didn't stress about it, just kind of like tried to recover as best as possible. And then the second week we went to this place, this island called Mallorca, which is off the coast of the east coast of Spain. Um, above Ibiza. It's like in the Balearic Sea. That was the original title for Free Willy, by the way. Mallorca? Yeah. I knew there was going to be something coming for that. Sorry. I knew it. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. Cool. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, also called Majorca. Uh, Majorca? So oh. Mallorca. Yeah. Actually, it's super close to Corsica. Like 45-minute mm. flight from Corsica, I think. Where Jason and I have been and filmed a video no proposals there um so this island i knew was super sweet um 
and it w offered many good proposal spots. And by that point, I felt pretty good and was not as sick. So one of the days we had a boat rental set up from this place uh, on the East Coast. So the, the top left of that island is very mountainy, very like old Europe, very like tiny little towns in the mountains. And then the bottom right of it is like Mexico, like White Sand Beach, turquoise water, very different. And so we were at the, the bottom right part of that island and we rented a boat and then that day I was feeling pretty good and I was like, this is the day, this is like the time to do it. And I had the ring and I had all the media set up. And so we boated out to this place, um, that you, it, to this beach you can only get to via, via boat or you'd have to hike for like two and a half hours from the mainland to get to it. So we went there and I was like, this is a great spot. And then <laughs> like so quickly the clouds like came in and it started like raining and then Lauren was just like in like a <laughs> towel, like so cold. And I was like, okay, uh, maybe it was just tough it out. She's like, no, I'm kind of like over it. And I was like, no, 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 it's all good. And I like texted the boat people. I was like, I'm going to need like two more hours on the boat. <laughs> Cause I was like, hopefully the weather just passes. Oh. And, uh, we just sat there like in silence kind of like sipping a beer being really cold being like i think this is fun i and did see i did see a instagram story of you cracking a beer lauren in the water was that pre or post proposal that was pre pre yeah that was like when so they had weather. to get a little loose oh yeah for sure <laughs> and also you have to drink a beer while you're driving a boat <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> obvious i don't think that it even starts it doesn't even start <laughs> until the beer's in your hand <laughs> um so then yeah the weather came in and the funny thing about the island is you can like see blue patches of the sky. I was like, oh, there's another beach over there. We'll go to this other blue patch. So fire up the boat, went to this other beach. Other beach was like packed with people. And I didn't want to do this in front of people because mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's just a little nerve wracking. The drone, yeah. Drop the ring. Exactly. <laughs> shit yourself. Shit my pants. <laughs> throw up all over myself. <laughs> um, so we went to that, this other beach and then weather got better and I was like, uh hey laura do you like have to pee or anything and she's like yeah i really have to pee and i was like okay let's boat over to this other little cove for some privacy and she's like okay and then she we went over there i don't know if she wants me to tell this part but that's too bad <laughs> boated over there and then um <laughs> she'll never hear this <laughs> yeah she'll never listen she already dropped off at the first fart joke and then i was like okay so you should probably like, go pee and she's like okay so she like hopped in the water to do that and then Lauren. i was like i was like ring fucking drone <laughs> up in the air like camera out and like got everything like super prepped and then she got back and she was like oh the drone's in the air and i was like yeah do you want to like take a picture she's like sure and then then i just kind of went into it from there i like faked a picture but i just left the drone rolling on video and then got down on one knee did you have a speech what'd you say I blacked out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I had a beer instead of my ring. <laughs> yeah, I was never nervous about talking like the what I was going to say until the very moment. I was more nervous about how to capture the moment. Mm -hmm. And the media, did you lab yourself or did not? No, <laughs> no, no. guy. Or? Yeah, I had a full sound. She was like, "Why is there another boat with a giant boom coming yeah. out of it?" Smoking a cigarette. Yeah, why are there two floppies <laughs> over there and three grip smoked cigarettes? It was Big Al. <laughs> <laughs> uh i think i just said kind of like i got down and i was like uh i said something like we've been together for super oh, long time oh sorry I, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry oh yeah that's great um yeah we've been together for a long time uh you're like the love of my life loving more than anything clearly we can like go through anything together <laughs> example being me pooing myself for half this trip um and i think it's like time we just like <laughs> Sorry. No, keep going <laughs> take the next step and uh and then she said yes and then it was just like crying i should also mention the water was so choppy like we were both just like this. like <laughs> and i was like holding the ring like and then she like put it on and then just like she fell over into me and then yeah there's a whole whole photo set to we're fucking show. done yeah she, imagine she, didn't, she said no did she cry uh yeah yeah for sure oh yeah did you cry i tried i i'm just so <laughs> so emotionless very, very oh no i was pretty close i was like tearing up you're like putting Aww. salt water around your yeah. face you're, yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, so that drone photo. Fo- show the photo, big Al. Please go to the Instagram. Um, that was a, that's a screen cap. Yeah. Uh, okay. I wondered. I was like, how did he time the photo? It's impressive. It, I couldn't. Yeah. There's no on that drone at least. There's no. Setting. So there's video footage of it. There is. Mm. I don't have that. What? Or I don't. Oh, have you don't it, have like, it available. Available. Yeah. Oh, oh you got to sign in. Whoa, four, we got 5,000 likes on that, baby. That's, my That's top, great for top, you. Top performing photo. Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. So. Um, That's great for your algorithm. Yeah. Well, describe the pictures for the audio. Yeah, the audio people. This is me kneeling down on our tiny little rental boat. Epic. And Lauren holding her hands over her mouth because she, she was surprised that, she, that it was going to happen. Or she was surprised when I did it. Because we were also like a week and a half into the trip at this mm-hmm. point, and she was like, "Well, I think it would have happened." He's, there's no <laughs> way he's carrying like a ring around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, also just like super happy about it. So also the water is beautiful and turquoise. The water very, was very beautiful. beautiful. So yeah, like to the left of that photo, maybe like I don't know, a thousand feet away is like a packed beach, like so packed. So I I bought it over to this little spot. It's a little less. I'm just imagining packed. you saying something very sincere and thoughtful, and in the background, it's just <laughs> from the drone. Uh, oh. The drone is far enough away. Okay. It's a tiny drone, too, so you don't really hear much. You get that music playing? What's the sound yeah. like? Yeah, the, the boat had a sound system. Take a bell, a bell, and a bee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what was playing. I think some, some chiller song. When the moon hits your eye like <laughs> a big pizza pie. Hold on. That's well, Lauren. We've been together for a long time, (laughs) (laughs) and then she said yes, and it was. (laughs) Oh my god, he on X. (laughs) Damn, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. That's great. And uh, how did you feel five seconds after? Uh, pretty relieved, but then I was like. Oh fuck! I gotta land the drone, <laughs> and it, the, it was like the low battery, like. Bee, oh bee. god! And then yeah, I couldn't land it on the the boat, so I like flew it and did the hand catch and everything. Wow, was, what a G! And then I was like, uh, the whole time, I was, imagine how funny it would be if I dropped the drone. She's like, shut the fuck up and just like grab it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but it'd be so funny. <laughs> Get the fuck. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. what'd you do uh, that night? <laughs> Later. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, I think we just had, went out and had a, like a nice dinner. Um, I think it's funny too because like the immediate thing after like the glow wears off, you like, edited photos. <laughs> no, I didn't fuck with that. Lightroom, yeah, Lightroom. Uh, it's like, well, how, how do we tell people? Who do we tell? Them? Mm-hmm. How do we tell them? And you plan your collaboration post, and you plan the collaboration post. You do like a soft launch and a hard launch. <laughs> Change your Facebook status. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we just like we're like not no talking to anyone. Like, let's just go out have like dinner, drinks, mm-hmm. and that's about it. Nice. Yeah, I saw you have a drink that was like a melted ice cream cone tipped upside down. It was like an ice cream bar, and it was melted. Whatever you don't I remember? Had, maybe Lauren had that. No, she, I texted and I, I sent her a message. I was like, that looks delicious. What is that? I need that melted ice cream drink. And she said, of course, it's Jason's. Oh. Of course, Jason ordered that. It was, it was like literally <laughs> like, a, like a popsicle with like a stick on it. Just turned oh, upside down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where that was. Oh, man, you drank a lot of beers that trip. I did. <laughs> There's, the thing about Spain, alcohol, beer and wine, it, like local beer and wine is so cheap. Yeah. Like you're up at a restaurant you have to pay for water there's no free water mm. right it's like three euro of water beer was two euro oh, I mean, <laughs> it's like it's simple math water. i'm like oh okay i'll just get the beer yeah just water and beer <laughs> there's water and beer yeah i did drink a lot nice and uh overall the trip yeah it's a like super good. other than the food poisoning which definitely sucked um other than that spain was awesome I would highly recommend. Any funny encounters with the uh, locals? Any um, any uh, freaks? Any fans? Any f- no fans. No I fans. Was kind of, I was kind of bummed. Um, although <laughs> wow, shout shouts geez. out. Yeah, it's really not not that big in Spain. Spain demographics not good. Not good. But uh, shouts out. People were DMing me when I was in places because mm-hmm. I was like posting, kind of like later posting, so I didn't reveal my exact location. But um, people were like, "Oh, you should go check out this. Oh, you should go check out that." Or like. 
people are like, oh, are you here mountain biking? You got to mountain bike these trails. And then I start getting like really bad FOMO. <laughs> and which is like the one thing Lauren doesn't want to hear about is how much I want to go mountain biking. <laughs> but um, it sounds like there's some really good mountain biking in, uh, even in Mallorca, which um, would love to go back and do that. But yeah, Spain's sick. It's really good. Nice. Very nice. Weird encounters. Congratulations, Jason. Thank you. <clears throat> the next step of your life are we saving a date or what you guys don't know i said two years <laughs> two years <laughs> yeah that's not that long yeah it's pretty normal if oh you if you were like i want to get married next year you'd have to book the wedding venue last week or you're not going to get anything yeah. yeah i thought you might i thought you guys might just go for it just <laughs> book the roxy right away <laughs> <laughs> the roxy yeah, vancouver's most famous venue yeah. roxy is it I no so. i don't know i think so at least most infamous Venue? Yeah. Well, 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 club. Yeah. You sure about that? <laughs> what would you put ahead of the Roxy? For, oh, for clubs? Clubs or bars or celebrities? Yeah. I mean, you might yeah, even say the... venue. Uh, it's Venue's pretty gone. iconic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Out of all the venues, the Roxy. Oh. I see. We should get someone from the club scene and ask them. Yeah, you could be right. You could be right. The Roxy's really famous in the hockey world. It's like... Like, mm. like super famous NHLers will talk about the Roxy specifically being like the spot. Anybody I went to high school with that is like now doing hockey, always at the Roxy on Sunday night. Oh, Roxy Sunday for sure. You say oh, doing yeah. hockey? Yeah, you know, they, they do the, the stick. Super hockey, technical. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, can we, can we uh, follow up this engagement story with a story of how you guys met? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it all the way back. Holy shit. This is a good story. This is <laughs> real fast. Um, so I, I was there. I was there the day you, you guys met. This was like, what, what is this now? 13 years? No. 11. 11 years. 11 years. So yeah, for listeners, it's been 11 years <laughs> since we started dating. So that's why when you, Dave, you were like, is there any other trips? Yeah, there's probably been a lot of trips <laughs> we've been on that she was like, uh, I wonder if this is going to happen. Um, so yeah, 11 years ago, we were 19, uh, 19, turning 20, 19 maybe 20. 20 so yeah. Yeah. Probably 20. I mean, 20. And, uh, Matt and I, we, I guess even before this, we went to a house party where, um, I had a different girlfriend <gasps> and we went to it. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah. I forgot about that part. Yeah. This is actually, <laughs> it is actually important. It is actually important. This is important. It is important. And um, we went to this house party that was uh, at Lauren's current cousin, <laughs> current, her cousin, her cousin's house. And, um, but her cousin went to school with the girlfriend that I had at the time. And so I went to this party, Matt came and it was like a hot, just at a high school party. So still kind of like mm -hmm. clicky. Was that Halloween? I think so, because there was like caution tape. Yeah. And I was messing with the ha caution tape, and yeah, I turned the been. caution tape into a penis on the typical behavior. As one does. I think it was. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could, that, was, that sounds right. Um, you were meeting girls, the love of your life, and I'm making a penis on the cupboard. <laughs> well, we were at the party, and it was with this like really clicky high school that they're all nice people, but they had all their like inside jokes and inside <laughs> games, and. Matt and I were like, I don't really know how to interact with this. And they all have like, oh, they just graduated together and they're all together. Mm. And uh, Lauren was in that same boat because she didn't go to high school with them. And so most of that night we were just all talking oh, yeah, and like right. joking and partying with each other rather than like the whole party. Um, Would you say you were feeding off each other? We were definitely Those feeding off each T other. TM. Mm -hmm. um, great party. Had a lot of fun. And then... A year went by. But, but also, uh, she knew our YouTube videos, and yes. her little brother knew the YouTube yes. videos, and she wanted to get um, uh, clout and take photos with us to send to her brother, like, look who I'm with. And her friends. They And her friends. Yeah, they knew. They knew about um, IFHT back in the wow. day. And we were all for it. We're Le like, leveraging your fame from the beginning. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Thank um, you, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's true. Thanks, YouTube. Um... Fast forward a year and then no longer with that other girlfriend and RIP. RIP. She's still alive. She's alive. And <laughs> I, that very, summer. Very intense. We don't know like right this second. Like you wouldn't get a phone call today, you know? I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. There's worse shit on the local news. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, we just play sounds that keep saying sorry after. No, no more apologizing. Yeah, yeah. No more deleting the bad sounds, okay? Even if they sound like a wet fart, leave them in. 
I don't delete the sounds. Hey, you told me. <laughs> you told me that sometimes. Don't tell anybody, but I just delete the sounds because sometimes they sound like a wet fart. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you can't hear someone saying Fuck something important him. and then a Sorry, what? sound. <laughs> so, someone saying something important and then a sound effect overlaps. Uh, I'm not familiar with those moments. Yeah. What I said? Excuse me. <laughs> all right, we all do it. Let's just not make a big deal about it. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Oh god, I love the soundboard. What were we talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm talking about Mountain Dew, yep. baby. <laughs> <laughs> so good. What the hell is even now? Uh, all right, fast forward one year later after this party. One year I'm later? So no. <laughs> yeah, it's a year later. Oh, really? Okay, I forgot this even happened. Man, this is gonna take all podcasts. Yeah. I'm remembering all the other. This was details. supposed to be the like Dave falls back in love with podcasts because it's all about him. Podcast. No, no, no it's no, all no, about no, Jake. No. no? no, no. Yeah, well, at least you can follow along with the story. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's happening. So that summer, I had a uh, neck tumor sprout out. And <laughs> this was that summer. And I had, you, you can like see it, or mm -hmm. maybe not anymore. In old IFHT like vlogs, you could mm -hmm. see this like ball on my neck. Yeah. All the comments said, Jason's got a hickey. No, Jason's that was after. Got... Oh, yeah, sorry. The after. Before we're like, you should go to the doctor. And, I, and it was funny. I was working at a bike shop at the time. And I sold a bike to a doctor. And he was like... <laughs> Uh, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's just this thing on my neck. He's like, you should go to the hospital probably like tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, oh God, okay. So I went to the hospital and they're like, yeah, it's a tumor. What kind of a tumor? It was a, well, benign tumor. So it wasn't cancerous. Nine tumors? Benign. Oh. Um, they said it was on my thyroid and they mm. said it's just something that can happen um, like as you grow up it's just like uh, some people are born with them and then they flare up like kind of yeah like late teenage years this guy so manly had two adam's apples <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh and so i had to get surgery to get that removed and then um it was a fairly sh shitty surgery very so surgery it was very cutthroat <laughs> and took a while to recover <laughs> i couldn't party which i was like oh. <laughs> the time you want to party oh. and then um i remember i was like just wanted to party so bad and i think lauren <laughs> reached out because her friend was having a birthday it was one year later because her friend and lauren's cousin have the exact same birthday mm. so it was exactly a year later um wow. they uh needed more people to fill up a party bus mm. and they the thought of us bus. yes for some reason because that because, she, uh, because we had a popular music video we had a popular we music on video. youtube at the time and which one I, <laughs> all about the LGs, oh, Dave. Oh, yeah, my yeah, yeah. favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so um, they knew of us, and they are like, those guys look fun. And they asked us, and or Lauren asked, maybe you even, um, mm, and yeah. thinking, like, there's no way they're going to say yes. And then it was like, yeah, sure, we'll come. Because that was just How like, did they have your contact? Face, I think it's Facebook. Facebook, yeah. We're just Facebook friends right. with Lauren. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And so, yeah, we, we went out there. Um, to White Rock, where where they lived, which is also very far from Richmond yeah. at the time. Yeah, we drove out to uh, Lauren's home. Yeah, very nice home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, what's the address again? Yeah, nine four twenty. Right. <laughs> uh, and then we went on the party bus with all these people we didn't know, and they kind of knew us from from the YouTubes. And mm -hmm. that night, uh, I, I think, awesome honestly, I think I drank three quarters of a two six before getting to the party mm. of captain morgan which i could never do yeah, anymore we were savage we yeah were savage like back then we, we had <laughs> there's no way i could drink that anymore okay. and uh <laughs> i was so drunk i had like nothing on my mind other than like i just want to party <laughs> with these like on this party bus and um yeah that night uh i, I was single so I saw Lauren in a different light, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> in a multicolored flashing. Yeah, in a blurry low shutter <laughs> speed light. In the back of a party bus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, one thing led to another. And then history. 11 years later. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. So it was a party bus. But we met technically at a party. And then, uh, I guess, like, actually got together on a party bus. My parents have a similar meeting story where they like met a year before and then like we're both seeing people and then met your again. dad had a neck tumor and my dad <laughs> had a neck tumor <laughs> and then he had a huge uh, YouTube viral sensation. Yeah. As well. <laughs> yeah. 
You had a big music video pop yeah, up. It's called All About the LBs. Nice. It's about losing weight, though. <laughs> <laughs> All about the pounds. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we met. There you go. I now was the whole world 10 knows. years old when you guys met. <laughs> <laughs> you were 10? Yeah, that's 11 years ago. I'm 21 now. Oh, oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. You son what of a bitch. Nice to go back down memory lane, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Matt was there. I uh, was there. Dave was probably somewhere. Yeah, I was. Dave? I was ten. You were twenty-seven. <laughs> was during my second divorce, <laughs> Dave was forty-five. <laughs> that was just before I met you guys. It was just before, yeah. Because yeah, that, that music video was the first thing I saw of you guys, and then we met maybe like a couple months after that. Didn't invite us on a party bus. I, didn't, I haven't done that many party buses. I've maybe gone on like two. Party buses two are three. weird. They're kind of sweet, though. They are kind of sweet. Could, would, so if someone invited you on one today, would you go? 100%. Yeah, obviously. Oh, okay. Wait, are you telling me? <laughs> we basically did a party bus last week. Oh, for, the, yeah. for Pit Viper. Uh, well, that was different. the worst party bus of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Pit Viper, we had, three, we had three shoots, basically. Three pairs of sunglasses to make ads for. Mm-hmm. One of them was Wolf of Wall Street kind of themed. So mm-hmm. we were in a boardroom. We were on a golf course. And we were in a... Uh, a, a Rolls Royce replica yeah. limousine, mm-hmm. which basically I described it as like the adult version of like a kid making stuff out of cardboard, you mm-hmm. know, it's mm-hmm. just like kind of tacked together. Mm-hmm. And this limousine was full of mold. It had the right aesthetic we were going for it though. Yeah. Like it was, it just like, it was, a, I guess, a regular limo. Well, it's, Someone knew exactly what it was. It was Someone like, said oh, it was a Lincoln Town car. Like cut in that half been, or something like, like that. Cut in half and yeah, extended. I think it's stuff. like a Ford something or a Lincoln something. I'm pretty sure it was a Lincoln. Yeah. And then we got a message on Instagram. Someone said, ah, the infamous Rolls Royce replica. Mm-hmm. Like it, they must see oh. it around town. Interesting. Yeah, apparently it's a famous car. Yeah. Anyway, super, super unique inside. Mm-hmm. It had uh, whiskey decanters kind of like built into the design. I thought you were going to say whiskey dick. <laughs> It, and uh, yeah, it, it was perfect. Part of it. Perfect for the shoot. Maybe you can pull that up. It's Time Limo. Shout out Time Limo. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we basically just had a guy uh, drive us around town. Search Time an Limo evening. and uh, Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce yeah. And we it had, doesn't say replica when you go to exactly. the website. Exactly. Okay. I remember when we were looking we're at like, it. I was oh like, oh my God. Whoa, it's so cheap. Are you sure? I know. Uh, yeah. I oh. mean, maybe it says in the print, but it like right up front, it doesn't. It literally says no, no, it no, right no. there. Go back. Not there. Go back. Wait, go back one. Look. Rolls Royce Phantom Replica oh. Stretch Limousine. Okay, right. Th- it's it's no, clearly but, no, so that, that's what we, re- we yeah, read. Yeah, that's this. what we saw at we the top this. there. Rolls Royce Phantom Stretch Limousine. That's uh, but look on the right. It's I a know. Replica. But once uh, you've read yeah. the, t- the headline, you're mm. kind of like you're, we're, you're we're uh, millennials. We read the headline and we don't yeah, read true. anything else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what it looks like on the inside. Yeah. So it's got like beige um, leather. Uh, is it? Is it leather? Is that even real leather? Leather. It's got a uh, kind of a shag carpet. But the uh, sunglasses that we're doing the ad for has this, it's it's called the limousine. Mm -hmm. And the box box on the inside looks like this limousine. Yeah, the whole slogan with with these pairs, this pair of glasses is party on the inside. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the inside of the box is like a limousine with a disco ball and like craziness happening. So, but yeah, we basically had a little party bus going around town. It was mm-hmm. so wild in there. Did you guys get a chance to sit in there? Mm-hmm. I was in there for a bit, and then I, there was no room for me, so I left. I only, well, yeah, I was only in there when we were rigging it, rigging it with like lights. And I didn't rig shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, dude, it was so crazy because we had to take breaks every once in a while. Okay, so the scene in there was everybody. It was from, supposed to be the eighties, mm-hmm. and everybody had crazy costumes on, and like big the w- women had big hair and. We had briefcase full briefcases full of fake money. Guys had slick back hair. Slick back hair. And we had lights. We had a disco ball. We had all sorts of flashing lights. And we're cruising around town. And necks are turning, wondering what the hell's going on there. And we even pulled over to a gas station at one point. Mm-hmm. And that created a lot of attention. because We the lost act- a good hour at a gas station. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the... the uh, I don't want to call them actors. Or there are athletes who were playing actors. They're, They're athletes. athletes. First, first and foremost, athletes. On-screen talent. Uh, yeah. Um, they uh, got out and started playing with the cash and stuff. I was like, oh, maybe we should stop this. This is very suspect. Yeah. And uh, 
and then they also are skateboarders so they had their skateboarders on them and they were just skate skating all over the gas station mm -hmm. and just as we departed someone was calling the cops on us really, really? yeah well because there was a person who started like heckling us they said Give, can i can i get your f they were talking to the limo driver mm. can i get your number i want to drive that thing let me drive that thing can i get your number please i'll pay you there money was a, there was a suspect individual very <laughs> drunk individual it was a bit scary mm -hmm. So I don't know if the cops were being called on, on I think him. It was, I think it was that guy. Okay. I thought it was not. Nah, we Anyways, were, we were that, chill. That was fun. We, we touched lightly on our shoot. And we haven't really delved deeply. Did we dive into this? Did we dive on into this? We've uh, tap danced around it. Yeah. Tap danced around what? The Our shoot. Oh, okay. When we got deep. When we got deep? We haven't gone deep. Oh, we haven't gone deep. Yeah, we could talk about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fresh. Should we talk about talking about it? Mm -hmm. We could talk about talking about it. I mean, how would we talk about it? Yeah. What do we talk about? What do we talk about? <laughs> what what happened? Yeah. Anything memorable that the Chellers care about? Was there anything like you said there was a scary guy on the Slammer Day? <laughs> that was actually super scary. Yes. Okay. So set up set up okay. with the Slammer. Okay. So the Slammer is a pair of sunglasses mm -hmm. that um we have a pair here. We do have a pair. Let me get a let me grab a pair. Keep yeah. going. So the inspiration behind these sunglasses is like, n like nineties, I guess, late nineties, like crashes and like uh, X sport, games like X Games, vibes. like sports, like what you would see people wearing back then, kind of brought now to present day. Um, if you when you look at the box for them, there's someone broken and having a cast on them. The slogan is "Eat shit." The slogan is "Eat shit." So we're creating a commercial that is essentially a crash compilation, but we're doing it in a creative way uh, without needing to throw real people into these crashes. Mm -hmm. So one of the locations, um, we had we had three camera teams all operating at the same time throughout various spots in Vancouver and North Vancouver. And my team, not my team, but like the team I was on. It was your team. Whatever. <laughs> we're all in it together. Um, our team was at a skate park in North Vancouver and, um, uh, we are, our, our talent, our on-screen talent was actually injured. Um, she was a very talented BMX rider, but unfortunately for this week she was injured. So we were kind of working around that and getting creative with how we can, um, make it look like she's eaten shit many times. And we'd just gone to this skate park around midday. No one else there. We're like, perfect. Like, let's just get as much as we can while no one else is here. And then... Someone shows up and right away we kind of like look at this person and we're like this guy is definitely trouble. He came in, not to mention it was so hot this day, right? Like 30 degrees Celsius, so like 85 Fahrenheit or something, 80, 85. And this guy comes in with a full beanie over his face with one hole cut out for one eye. And then wearing like a like a kind of like a COVID mask over that balaclava, and then full hoodie, full pants, and like um, carrying three backpacks that are all different, have like weird patches on them and stuff. And then also had a longboard and a giant uh, like wand stick, like it looked like a wand. <laughs> How's he carrying all this? Uh, he's just skateboarding around. It's like forty or twenty five degrees that day too. That's a lot of stuff to have on you. Yeah. So much stuff. He must have been so hot. I have a sound. Um, <laughs> and uh, okay. I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of what he sounded like. <laughs> so terrifying. We're like we're trying to figure out shots. We're get, we actually are shooting at this point, and he drops in and starts skating around. And I'm like, whatever. The dude with the use weird. of one eye. With the use of one eye. Great. Doesn't change any clothing. Oh and he's God. like waving the, his wand around <laughs> as he skates. And we're like, well, let's just like, leave him alone. Wingardia Leviosa. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's just leave him alone. Just keep shooting. And then he starts like kind of just going off the walls and <laughs> kind of like. Like the skateboard walls? Yeah. No, like the mental walls. Right. And um, he just starts saying stuff like, the demons are coming. Oh, God. Oh, and like. Jesus Christ has risen and I am going to smite him and like all this evangelical kind of like demonic stuff as he's skating around waving a stick and he's like the, I'm talking quietly but he's literally shouting it at the top of his lungs and then he was like skating over parts of the skate park was he like, any good he was actually cruising around pretty well <laughs> on a longboard like <laughs> pretty hard to cruise around a skate park oh my god he on X Games, <laughs> yeah <laughs> and we also have like 
gear out. We had like a it all in one spot, but we're like, um, okay, two people are on the gear at all times, like while mm-hmm. we're shooting, and we, he just seemed kind of like off and unpredictable. And he was doing he did this for about half an hour, and he was mad because apparently they had changed some features of the skate park. Is which that even possible? I don't think. How do you change pop- a feature at this? I was like park. the skate. I've it's been to the cement. skate park so many times; it looks the exact same. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was, it was truly like, a, a nothing happened, mm-hmm. but it seemed like it just could happen at any time. Cause he seemed so unpredictable mm-hmm. and we're also just with people like who aren't from here and they're like, is this normal? I'm like, not really not here. Like, did you figure he what, didn't you figure he was like schizophrenic or something? I think he was schizophrenic and maybe having yeah. an episode, which is super sad. And like, I think the best thing to do in that situation is just leave them alone and let let them do their thing. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a really weird time (laughs) and we didn't get, unfortunately, like we, yeah, we just kind of like let him do his thing for half an hour, 45 minutes. And then he skated off and left and we could hear him like shouting all the way down the road as he went. Wow. Yep. So that was strange. But then we got a lot of good stuff after that. So. I'm now wearing the slammers, by the way. Yeah. These are the slammers. Those are the slammers. These ones have been slammed. These ones are absolutely destroyed. Uh, actually, not bad for what they've been through. I was going to grab one of the dummies, but it's great because we have two dummies that made it out alive. Or one dummy? Two dummies? Yeah, so we should explain. We Instead of making our athletes crash, we... we Oh, you did didn't some, explain that. I did. I did explain that kind of, oh. but we did some camera trickery to make it look like the athletes crash. But yeah, I bought dummies. four uh, dummies, like porch dummies that you use for Halloween that you dress up however you want, and we fortified them with cardboard and mm-hmm. sticks and tape and all sorts of things. And between skateboarding, BMXing, motorcycling, and mo- mountain biking, we came up with as many ways as we could think of on the spot to huck dummies and crash dummies and it was very entertaining for everybody involved mm-hmm. our uh we had a group chat going on because we were in splinter cruise mm-hmm. and uh it was very enjoyable seeing everyone's different crashes yeah that was the first time on a production that we did f- at three crews yeah we've done two we've yeah we've done two so basically like a splinter unit is just or like yeah a second team in like a movie would be getting shots of say like someone's hand hold, holding a phone where you don't really need the, the, you know, the very expensive actor. You don't need the whole yeah. team. Or really there. wide shots of like vehicles or. Yeah, exactly. Like the things where you don't need the, mostly the, the main actor. Mm-hmm. So you just get like a little uh, auxiliary team to get out there. And, yeah, and second unit director. Yeah. And a whole team. Right. Mm-hmm. So we kind of did that, but we did it with three teams. So this is the first time that we've come back with all these memory cards and the element of surprise. Yeah, we still haven't seen each other's work, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the element of surprise is waiting for us to open up those files and see what everybody got. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it funny because I feel like the phone clips are, might even be funnier than <laughs> the red clips. <laughs> I don't know. It's possible. The, fo- the phone clips add an element of like rawness to it where the, mm-hmm. the red might look like too good. Yeah. So crash clips are obviously go super viral. And I don't know. That was our idea. Why don't we, like, I, cause I've done the dummy huck before, uh-huh. like 10 years ago or something. I, I, I always say 10 years ago now. <laughs> We're like at that point in our career where I feel like everything was 10 years ago. God, I'm getting old. Everything good. Uh, anyways, I did the dummy huck off the Toonie drop. We've talked about the Toonie drop many times in the podcast before. And that video alone on Instagram alone probably gained us like 10,000 followers, mm. 20,000 followers mm. just with the amount of times that that one clip was shared. Yeah. So now we're hoping to get quick math, 2 billion followers, <laughs> maybe. It's good math. That checks out. Yeah. But actually we're going to give everything to Pit Viper, I guess. So they're going to get 2 billion followers. What? Yeah. <laughs> eh, we'll post some stuff. Yeah, we'll steal it all. So yeah, look out for that stuff. Mm-hmm. That's going to be fun. Yeah. And it's coming out soon. We filmed a sketch for fun. We did. For ourselves. Wow, mm-hmm. we haven't for potted in a long time. We didn't even talk about that. Yeah. We oh maybe God. brought it up. M- did we? I don't know. I don't think we did. That was, uh, you know what day that was on? The coldest day of the... It was 420. Oh. Oh, yeah, 420. shit. Hold yeah. Um, when, and what is it now? Almost? It's like 520 almost. almost. 520. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do on 520? 
Uh, isn't that a spin? Is a, is a 520 a spin? Oh, hold on. I guess it's a 720. But yeah, we do have a sketch coming out, so look out for that. But when we filmed the sketch, which was, I think, very satisfying. It was very nice to actually film something for ourselves, not for an ad or for mm -hmm. someone else. It's just like fully us. We did a little collab with our friend David Milchard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was no like, okay, but like... How do we get a logo in there? Like, <laughs> what does the, the brand product? think? Like, are they going to be stoked on this? Are they going to be okay with yeah. this joke? Are they going to cut this? Are we going to go through all the effort of doing yeah. this and bust our balls and then the, and then they're going to send it to corporate higher up and they're going to be cold feet and cut it entirely? Mm -hmm. <laughs> are they going to cut the big muscular Oddly specific. Guys? Yeah. <laughs> Oddly specific. People don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't have to worry about that, yeah. which is awesome. And also, we, we did it very relatively quickly and efficiently. Mm -hmm. Like, if it was like, I don't know, what, three or four hours? I think the long-term IFHT fans will appreciate the look and feel of the sketch. Yeah, and we have no idea what the results are going to be because do people even care about, like, a full-form YouTube video anymore? They just want a five-second short TikTok? What do the kids want these days? I think if it's good, people want it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I would hope. That that's the case. Big Al, you watching a full length YouTube video? You, you generation there, you? Uh, if I'm doing something, I find I'll watch a longer video. Like if I'm cooking or eating, I'll throw in an, an hour long YouTube video. <laughs> an hour? <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you talking about like a podcast? No, no, something. like video essays. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah well, okay, our well, thing <laughs> is four minutes and takes <laughs> needs all of your attention. I can watch that all day, baby. It's four minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, that'd yeah. be awesome if it actually was. <laughs> I think it'll be shorter than that for sure. But we're kind of fired up and figuring out um, what more we can do for ourselves. Because mm -hmm. everybody knows us for the how to be's. We've talked about this a lot, but it takes like 12 days to shoot how to be if we're filming it the way we used to. Mm -hmm. But we kind of want to make stuff like that. The same humor, same jokes, whatever, but we want to do them in one day shoots. Because otherwise, how can we, <laughs> how do we keep the business going making one video a month? How to be, you know, and no one, no one, no one, I don't, well, I guess I'm wrong. I was going to say no one's ever wanted to support a how to be like pay us money to get behind one of those, but I guess that's wrong. Yeah. They paid. Yeah. We've been paid for those. Yeah. We've been paid small amounts of money, I guess. Mm -hmm. Some pesos. <laughs> how to be a hockey player had some support. Mm -hmm. How to be a rock climber had some support. Mm hmm. DJ, classical musician, yeah, okay, okay. producer, all right, all right. Canadian too. It's like pulling teeth though to get people to support <laughs> those. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. The, the, Money was not equal to the effort. No, yeah, exactly. One hundred percent not. And the CBC owns all of those how to bees. So every single view on how to be a DJ, classical musician, music producer, mm -hmm. millennial home buyer, nineties gamer, yeah, nineties gamer. Um, None of it goes to us. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No S ad revenue. So uh, if you love us and you support us, go to mahalomydude.com and go buy some of our new merch that just dropped. <gasps> Bazinga. I just dropped in the future. We have feeding off each other shirts now, everybody. Oh yeah, we do have we have shirts for each other's. Should have worn them today. Ah, I don't have them on me. But uh, well, yeah, clearly, so, clearly. <laughs> the Jamie Brown. <laughs> yeah, this is not it. Uh, no, uh, the design is uh, made by Jamie Brown, Australian designer. Brilliant. He's the one who made uh, our dirt surfing. I think he made your hat design. Oh, you made you made, you made this hat. Awesome. <laughs> That guy does not miss. Everything he makes is golden. Love it. He can't hit. He can hit you. <laughs> <laughs> he can hit. No, you, you never miss, but he can hit. Uh, yeah, so please. Go buy shirt. Look cool. Should Support we uh, speak some pipes? Please. Please, please. Do we have any? Anybody check? It looks like we got four there. Four? Every time you open this, it looks like SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, like SoundCloud. It looks like you're about to place. Okay, who's this music? from? We're starting with Oklahoma Josh. <laughs> Of course. All right. Oh. Toilet Daniel needs to get flushed because he's totally <laughs> full of shit. All right. I, uh, I grew up in the bowels of Surrey, but I now reside in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And I, too many times, have looked around a room where I was invited over to someone's house, a gathering of maybe five to eight people. And I look around the room... Shoes, shoes, shoes. <laughs> and I look at my feet and I got socks on because I left my shoes by the door. 
like a good Canadian boy does. <laughs> However, they look at you like you're making yourself way too much at home. Mm. Now, if it's a really small gathering and it's like a house that like it's a really close friend and you're over there all the time, you'll probably take your shoes off. Right. But by and large, you don't take your shoes off. Thanksgiving. Everyone's over. Everyone's got their shoes on. All right. Catch you later. Wow. Thank you very much, Oklahoma hey. Josh. Fantastic speed pipe. That's this is a heated debate, and there's so many more nuances. He he had an opening joke, which was sweet. Yeah. Today I'm, I'm get flushed. I'm wearing flip flops, and I was yeah. very self conscious about this choice because I know yeah. the people who are watching the pod they're gonna see my dirty feet. Yeah, you could use a. I mean, a, a, a lot of people pay for that. I had a petty. I'm not. I'm not even lying. I had a petty three weeks ago. With really? Brooke. Yeah, we went for it. Tom. Uh, Tom Petty? Yeah. No, no, just normal. <laughs> just normal Petty. Um, yeah. I'm, Why? I've never my, had a Are petty. my toenails long? No, I'm just kidding. I can't oh, okay. tell. Um, on, they're going to take it seriously, man. They're wondering what my feet look like. I gotta, do we have a foot cam? Yeah, we have you, a wide. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you sure about that? You go shove your foot in the wide. Uh, I'm uh, not going to do that. So, yeah, Josh, <laughs> we concur with your uh, thought, and uh, I think all the Americans that are saying they don't do that are kind of full of shit. Yeah. I agree. Mm. I'm just, I'm thinking, when am I going to the U.S. next? I, I want to put this to the test. I am going to Disneyland in a couple of weeks. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. <laughs> okay. I'm sure about that. Uh, but the plan was to go see a Manila Gray show and then uh, go to Disneyland after for a few days for, for the heck of it. But then Manila Gray postponed their tour, so I'm just right. going to Disneyland. But I feel like if I show up at Disneyland with no shoes, it's, it's going to be weird. You gotta watch and out for the Disney police. It's a bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the cats they release at night to kill the mice. Oh, for real? Apparently, that's a legend oh. that Disneyland has cats that they release at night to no. kill mice. No, which is ironic because their mascot is a mouse. Yeah, that's one hundred percent not real. You guys, uh, Jason, I know you've been Shh. to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dave, mm -hmm. yeah, no, oh, yeah. See, I'm feel like I'm only going to Disneyland so I can finally squash the. Oh, you've never been to Disneyland? Comment for the rest of my life. It's a fun time. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you'll yeah. enjoy it. I feel like I, I've, I've told a few people I'm going to Disneyland, and they're like, "What? Like, what are you? Why are you doing that? Like, those people boring. can. Why don't you have what? Have yeah. they ever been? It's an insane place. I don't know. I, I I just feel like I've had some flat reactions from people where I've I thought like, oh, they're gonna be like, oh, it's hell yeah, that sounds sick, and the people are just like. What? You'll what? also get the people. Do you, why in the summer? What? You know how hot it is? What? You're crazy. You'll get the people that are like, oh, yeah, but if you want to get real roller coasters, you got to go to Six, yeah, Flags. Yeah, Six like, Flags. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is true, but it's a totally different experience. Like going to Disneyland feels like you're like in a movie or something. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's a special. It feels thing. like, in a way, in a different way, going to like a Vegas or a New York yeah. where you're like, whoa, this exists? Exactly. Like this is insane that someone has built this whole place and like... Whereas like a Six Flags is just like a mechanical feat. Yeah. Whereas Disneyland's, there's a whole show of it and you know. I'm going to do Universal Studios before too. That was, well, nice. that was the plan, yeah. I, I want to do too. the tour. Yeah, do that too. I want to see like how they make the movies, you know. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. always been kind of interested in I like movie Universal thing. more than Disneyland. They got the Tokyo Drift shit. You don't know. You haven't been. No, I don't know. Why are you looking at me, man? I know nothing. <laughs> you know? I They do have uh, uh, Nintendo World. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is going to be quite cool. I think that'll be cool. Dude, I'm going to come back broke. I went to Universal Played Studios in Japan, and that was very cool. Because they actually have big roller coasters at that one. Whereas I don't think they have big roller coasters in the California one. Yeah, the Harry Potter stuff, which is pretty sizey. Yeah. I'm looking forward to... Oh, since I was in like grade two mm -hmm. for Americans, mm -hmm. that's second grade. Oh, wait. What, yeah, we say grade mm -hmm. two, grade three. Ameri mm -hmm. uh, since like, yeah, like grade two, kindergarten even maybe. I've, I've heard about, uh, what is it? Ma Magic Mountain? Or what? No. Yeah. What's it called? Magic Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Mountain. Space, Space Mountain. Mountain. Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Dude, ever since I was a kid, Space Mountain. And it's like, you've never done Space Mountain? Finally, I'm going to squash this. Yeah, do Space wait. Mountain. Get wait, the fast pass. Space Mountain still mean? a thing? I don't though? think that exists anymore. Should. I think it's called something different, and they yeah. also have another thing. It's like a Genie Plus, and it, and it's an app. And as far as my understanding is, it's like an app that you have to look at all day, and it with the algorithm and whatever their tracking system, it mm -hmm. helps you to 
locate which rides have the f- smallest lines so you can mm. have the best chance of hitting everything. Whatever it is, do it. Like, you think so? Dude, yeah, it's, it's gonna be like super yeah. worth it. It's su- it. like the it'll make or break your day because you'll you would literally like even though it will cost more, you'd literally just have to like come back another day to like do the same. Well, I already bought exactly. the tickets. Like, it's so expensive, man. Mm-hmm. You no, gotta I've do ar- thirty six hundred dollars spent on the trip so far. Uh, for two people. For it's two ha- people, it's the happiest place in the world. Yeah, yeah I know. you gotta do the Cars ride. That's fun. Cars ride is sick. Oh the, yeah, that one looks the fun. Incredibles coaster, which sick. used to be. Called like California Dreaming or something. Tower of Terror, mm-hmm. which is also different now. It's now Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, Guardians like I Galaxy. hear, I hear you on the Fast Pass. I don't want to spend two hours in a line, but I, th- I would like to It'll think be more that I'm that. the type of It'll person be, you'll be like four hours. In a that's line. just kind of happy with whatever happens, happens. You won't. And I, and I looked up like Reddit. Do you get the Fast Pass? And people say, oh, it's really worth it if you have kids who can't, mm-hmm. who have no patience, and you know you got strollers and all this. But if you're just two people, a like, couple, like. Go for it. But your whole day is oh. only going to be like, call it eight, ten hours. So if you're in three hour lines, you're going to go on like three rides. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want. I don't want that. I, I got a sweet tip from someone though the other day. Mm-hmm. If I bring my from our slammer shoot, if I bring one of those um, dummies, no, the foot cast thing. What's it called? The boot. Oh, Eric the cast. Boot, yeah. You get bumped to the front of the line. That's smart. If Do you it. fake an injury. Fucking, Sh- should fucking I bring that? Do it. Fucking I would. Do what it. if someone busts out their phone and, you know, gets me taking it, it off says and walking what? over to the turkey leg? Oh, well, yeah, we keep gotta it on. keep it on all day. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, you'd be, it'd be a full day a commitment. Piece of shit, though. Just injure yourself before you go. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. That's actually much more, um, you know, cost effective than the fast pass, just. Mm-hmm. Faking an injury. You also got to do. You got to do Indiana Jones. That's a sick mm-hmm, one. Mm-hmm. You know what's actually surprisingly fun is the Jungle Cruise. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And you won't. There won't be a huge line because it's like not. A, a is it that one or the Pirates of the Caribbean one? That's like you're like, is this racist? Or Pirates like, is fun too. Yeah, Pirates is fun, but there's like some borderline like weird stuff in there. Brooke says Splash Mountain. No, was Splash Mountain was the one that was borderline. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah and they Splash changed it. Oh, they did change it. They changed right. it to like Princess and the Frog. Yes. What you say? Say? Because it used to be based on Song of the South, which was a, a, a movie about like a slave talking about how it wasn't that bad to be a slave or something yeah. like that. It was like really, that's where Zippity Doodah is from. That's what that I'm song. remembering. Yep, 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 yep. Skip It's a Small World for sure. Unless if there's no one there, then just do it anyways. I'm going to have to take notes. I'm going to forget everything. We watched, um, w- w- yeah, we were watching like plenty of vlogs, people doing mm. the best rides. Mm-hmm. We saw best cocktails, best places to eat food. I considered even, should I really ball out and stay at the Grand California Hotel or whatever it's called, mm. the Grand whatever? I don't know. But it was going to be like $1,000 a night kind of thing. <laughs> and I was like, I think the move is you spend as little money as possible on the comms and then you go yeah. crazy in the park. I mm-hmm. think so. Right? Like just don't even do anything at your comms yeah well i look forward to it my worst nightmare is if brooke gets scared before rides and i end up on them alone (laughs) and she's scared of rides i think there's some that she's she might be i can the only one i can think of really is like the incredible coaster really tower of terror like the guardians thing is kind of spooky i think the tower of terror is no longer the tower of terror and something it's guardians it's it's guardians of the galaxy yeah yeah. what i just found out is space mountain is closed (gasps) no way (laughs) are you freaking kidding me what like temporarily or forever forever like i thought this was news a bit ago yeah oh are you pranking me it says why it's the most famous ride in california dude i'm Absolutely heartbroken. That sucks. Yeah. And the Manila Gray show is cool. When, oh. when I... Are you kidding me? <laughs> temporary oh, ter- clo- ter- temporary, temporarily closed. What happened? Dude, what? Oh, it's Hyperspace Mountain now, I think. All right. Now we're talking. Okay. Wait, is it still there? Is it still there, though? Or is it being upgraded? It's being upgraded into like a Star Wars themed. Dude, what? Oh. everything is Star Wars now. Yeah. Wait. When is it open? Oh my god! Oh yes. no! Let me scan for you. Go to Florida. It's got to be in Florida still. I just recently bought a little VR set, so I'll just Star Wars Hyperspace VR. Mountain says it's open. Oh wait, that's in France. Oh, oh. <laughs> le fuck! <laughs> uh, Space Mountain is temporarily closed. Oh my god! This is the worst. 
We're fucking done. I'm over this podcast. Oh, no, 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 no. It says... Uh, <laughs> Stop playing with my emotions, Dave. It says Hyperspace Mountain returning May 1st, 2023. Oh, <gasps> shit. It's going to be fresh. Shit. It looks like it's open. There's not even going to be like kid guts on it. <laughs> oh, God. Don't make that joke. I hope <laughs> this is right. What, what best food that you had at Disneyland? I don't really, really I don't remember, remember loving the yeah, food. Yeah, remember. you won't remember Turkey the food. Beers, Do you guys like those giant turkey legs, or you think? I'm sorry. Overrated? What? Can you show me that motion again? Uh, These giant turkey legs. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Awkward. They're fine. I think I, I think I maybe had it once. I, I think, I'm, yeah. I'm all in for that. All yeah. In. I don't know. You, do, you honestly, the rides are the best part. The food is like whatever. Yeah, the food's. I don't remember there being like great food. I think you can find good food. You can for sure. But you also like pay butter such beer. a premium. The butter yeah, beer. Yeah, what's the fun. butter beer? That's the Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah, but like, that's universal, does it actually though. taste like butter? Or is it just normal it beer? It tastes like root beer. Yeah, it tastes like root beer. And it's alcoholic? No. Mm. Oh. Yeah. You can get beer, though, I think. Yeah, you can. There's like a few, like very select few yeah. places you can get beer. Yeah, so California, what is it? California Adventure mm-hmm. is like the adult side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there's tons of places. Yeah, there's the alcohol. Pornhub ride. <laughs> the what? Pornhub <laughs> ride. <laughs> and there's like a... Oh, anyways, it'll be a good time. We'll have to do that recap when I'm back. Should we play mm-hmm. another pipe? I even go. Did even have? You're going. I, next, oh yeah, I can't get the money back. Next pipe is Brian Bergerson. <laughs> Bergerson? Fake name. What's, what's happening? Oh, it's loading. <laughs> I got a spinning wheel going. Maybe on. refresh the page. Oh jeez. I, can't, I would listen, but I can't. There's nothing to listen to. Hey, guys. It's Brian from Houston, Texas, a.k.a. the flattest place on Earth. That's actually a quote from... Uh, the underwater. Song. She finished listening to the Christina episode. I didn't realize she was from Louisiana, so I was, I was like, oh, I need to call in and talk about, like, hey, you know, we have Brett you know, writing here, too, but then I forgot that Jason had been here, rode Spider Mountain. And I just want to make a comment about that. He's, you know, he wrote it before it opened. He's like, oh, it's so neat to be writing... And dry and dusty trails, you know, in the winter. It's like that was the best conditions that that place ever has. Like, you should come back and ride Texas during the summer. Uh, you've not seen dry and dusty, and I know I've I've been up to Seattle a bunch of times. I know what they consider dry and dusty. It is nothing compared to what we have. Also, uh, when's Nikayla going to be on? When is what? Later, guys. Michaela? Michaela mm-hmm. going to be on. Oh, we tried. We tried. We tried, but she lives uh, like pretty far. We had to harder. reschedule on her, and then it was a bit of like a... She wasn't happy about that. <laughs> she no. wasn't happy. But yeah. we had a Pit Viper shoot. Like, oh, by the way, this Pit Viper shoot needs to happen next week. Yeah. Okay, cancel everything. Yeah. 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 Um, what was the but rest she's of listening. that? Michaela, come on, please. He was just talking about how dry it is to mountain bike. Yeah, I think he's... Trying to get your opinion. Like, what's the driest that you've ever ridden? Is it as dry as Texas and the driest you've, you've ever been, Jason? Yeah. Right now. Um, <laughs> when you ride, is it usually pretty dry, or do you leave I've that thing up? <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. What? You said Spider Mountain, which I've been to. and Wait, what ride is that? Spider Mountain? Is that besides yeah. Space Mountain? Yeah. <laughs> <or? laughs> it's between Spider Flash Mountain. Don't tell me it's closed. It's closed. It's no! Hyper, it's Hyper Spider Mountain now. <laughs> oh, crap. The arachnophobes are pissed. Yeah. Uh, um, I think he was saying that I said it was dusty, but it wasn't dusty or something. Oh, he was like, oh, you have not seen dusty until you've been here in August. Oh, man, that sounds horrible. Texas in August? It'd be not as fun. I would love to go to Texas. Great comedy scene mm-hmm. popping off right now. Comedy. Um... I mean, yeah, go see the we can go see, show. We can go see Emily. Yeah, in, go see in Emily. Uh, Austin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't go to Houston. I went to Austin for mountain biking, but I don't want to come back when it's dustier. <laughs> I'd like to go to Texas. All right, let's play yeah, Daryl. Texas is good. All right, this is Daryl. Hey guys, my name's Daryl. First time listening to the podcast. First time calling in here. Listening to the episode with Christina Chapetta there. Really interesting listening there, but wanted to let you guys know you do have some listeners. Well, at least one listener from Kansas. I am, in fact, from Kansas. Yeah. Grew up there, went to school there, both, you know, elementary school, high school, junior college, and uh, Kansas State University. <laughs> yeah, right? You know, go Wildcats. Not the best go Wildcats. in most of those areas. That's why I eventually ended up moving away, you know, 
Um, did live in Kansas City, so I biked a lot in northwest Arkansas. That was about like a three-hour drive or something. Did that many weekends. Then I moved out to Nevada below Lake Tahoe and got a lot of awesome mountain biking there. But, um, you know, you talked about gravel riding, that Unbound 200 race, 200 miles of gravel in a day in Kansas. It's a wonderful day. It's a lot of fun riding, but it is just long. Um you know, Kansas is flat, but those are just rolling hills. So you're always going up or down. So you got like over 10,000 feet of climbing in one of those days. But really, Colleen, because I'm wondering if you could ask Christina a question for me. <laughs> She's so going. She and I actually both went to the same junior college. She Whoa. was there a few years prior to me. I really just want to know if she's ever heard of a place called Apartment 210 and a half. <laughs> um, <laughs> if she has, she I'll text her. would probably okay. know, even if she doesn't remember every night there. Because many people mm-hmm. who ever went to Apartment 210 and a half may not remember all of it. It's a great time. Fun yeah. party place. Really just wondering if she'd ever heard about it. Take care, guys. Catch you later. I feel like people love to call in and just be like, uh, here's where I'm from and uh, here's where I've rode bikes before. You want to go there? Mm, that's a very common thing. Should we just call her? Quickly ask her? Sure. That'd be sure. the easiest. Be I don't fun. have her number. Okay. I don't have my phone. It's right uh, in front of you. Uh, isn't isn't that, that it? What? It's been there the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> it was on our nice new table, which I forgot to mention. Is this the first one we've recorded with? Yeah. Mm. Our brand new tabletop. Branded. Fantastic. This was a gift from our, our friends at... I thought you were going to phone her. Steel and Timber Slab Works. What'd she say? Guys, you just talked over my shout out to Timber. Okay, sorry. Finish your shout out. trying to give a shout out, guys. Yeah, shout it out. Steel and Timber Slab Works. I just said it. (laughs) I think we maybe did record one with it. Because I Uh, remember you doing a shout out. I don't think so. But shout out to, shouts out to Thomas for uh, giving us this beautiful tabletop. And it's got, Mm -hmm. it's cut out with. He cut out feeding off each other with, uh, I don't know, what is it, a CNC machine? Yeah, his friend's at another company. Uh, yeah, fired up their CNC machine, rode out feeding off each other, and then Thomas fills it with resin. That stuff can't be cheap. Sand it all off. It's beautiful. I, th- I feel like it's almost too nice for this this gold table thing underneath now. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hell this is, the brick busted her ass off. Anyways, very nice. Uh, it is nice. Mm-hmm. Christine said no. Oh, okay. Nope, never well, been. I'm glad we didn't call her. Sorry, yeah. Dar- Sorry Daryl. <laughs> Texting is, is the way. <laughs> I just thought it would be nice and awkward if we called her. Shall we bang out this last one with Lucas Rutherford? Let's do it. Yes, please. Hey, guys. My name's Lucas. That's a first name, by the way. I'm <laughs> coming at you from Folsom, California. Just finished listening to the Christina Chapetta episode. Hmm. And... Uh, thought of a funny video of Canadian legend Maddie Matheson going noodling in Oklahoma. I've seen and that they video. end up cooking what they caught. Pull it up. Um, also, thought I'd let you know to start pronouncing herba mate as herba. yerba mate oh. or sherba mate what? as the Argentines pronounce it. Sherba mar- sherba mate. Anyway, love that stuff. Thanks, guys. Keep crushing it. Sure, but my turn. Sure, you sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about my day? Damn. I feel like I, if we were pronounced like that, people would get angry. It's like pronouncing <laughs> croissant. Croissant. Or know, like Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Abitha. Like I could say it, but. You sound like an asshole. Like I say still. <laughs> <laughs> you just I call know. him an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> you, sound like no, an no, no. you sound like an asshole if you say things super like go on accent appropriate so what he just said yeah oh. this is actually so you are calling i debate a lot with myself is if i should pronounce spanish things properly since i can speak spanish but i don't want to sound like a douchebag that just like randomly throws on this accent mm-hmm. i think you like split the difference thanks david <laughs> Yeah, like, you sound like a douchebag there for sure. Like I think you say like jalapeno, but you don't have to be like jalapeno. Like you don't have to like, <laughs> like go it. into the full. I like it. You should full accent. You should. It's like when you're watching a broadcast, like a sports broadcast, it's in a different language, and they're speaking a different language, and they're they're going da 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 da, and then they say <laughs> <laughs> they just say like a like a like an English name, and they'll be like da 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 da, like Thomas Jones, and then they keep you know speaking in a different language. Nope. No. Don't get it. You never no. had that experience? Uh, no. 
Cool, cool, cool. cool. I, I so you relate to it. You know, when you're watching <laughs> soccer and they're like, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Goal, asshole. You get that one thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What did you say? Goal, asshole? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> you said Will I, I decided that my, you know, like if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Uh-huh. Would, it, would you fly? Would uh-huh. you be able to walk through walls, uh-huh. be invisible, whatever? I think my superpower is the ability to give everybody subtitles because then I can communicate with anybody. No. Oh, well, actually, wait. Why would you want subtitles? Why wouldn't you just want to like understand them in your brain? Um, I just like reading subtitles. I'm <laughs> I'm the kind of person who has the subtitles on during movies and yeah. and uh, TV shows because when they get quiet, you just you miss stuff and there's like crucial information there. I'm a subtitle mm-hmm. guy. I'm not. Me neither. I, I know tons and tons of people do it now though. Yeah. Super. Yeah, it's super. Not, not weird. It's just different. I'm glad you guys don't judge me for it. No. I thought you would be. No. 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 No, also sound mixing can be like hit or miss. Yeah, it's time. hard. And also when you're trying not to disturb your neighbors or something like that, because, mm. you know, I got neighbors up above and beside me. I sometimes just pop in the AirPods. Yeah, well, I got someone sitting beside yeah. me who also wants to hear the same thing, and I can't share I guess, this. Yes, <laughs> that's what I get for being lonely. <laughs> Single and ready to mingle more like it. Yeah. Are we going to watch this noodling video? Uh, yeah, I mean, let's take, let's you can watch it for just, a just, just quick hit. hit. This video is hilarious. I've watched the whole thing. I love Maddie Matheson. That is sound. dream podcast guest. That'd be amazing. Oh, it's Actually, got subtitles for you. Can go sound oh, here. that's fantastic. Let's now, ch- what do check on the sound? I want, man, that uh, chesty is not doing much for him. <laughs> <laughs> that GoPro's pointed straight in the, in the sky. Yeah, we gotta get him on Whoa, what was that thing? Right. I I this is Bon Appetit. Dude, I've never seen this. And I what? love Maddie. Oh, and Brad Leone? Such a good host. Cool. <laughs> the boom guy. I imagine that's was like you proposing. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boom, boom in. <laughs> I want Maddie Matheson to come bike packing with us and cook us a meal uh, on bikes. Mm. He wouldn't last five minutes. What about an e bike? Debatable. I don't know if the e-bike would last. Didn't we try to connect with Maddie Matheson on our Quebec trip? Yeah. We like, asked our friend if they knew him, and it turned mm. out they did not. They did not. <laughs> what a turns cool out, story. Turns out not everyone in Quebec knows each other. Oh, yeah. Talk, this, yeah. This looks hot. When does the noodling oh, begin? Uh, yeah, skip through yeah, the skip, noodling. Skip, skip. You did this last time we tried watching a noodling video, Big Al. We watched Dude, eight minutes. There was noodling beforehand. there for sure. There you go. There you go. Go back a bit. There you go. Go back a bit. Maddie Matheson has the best burger uh, recipe, like tutorial video, and uh, a very good pancake video as well. Mm. He's also in the show The Bear, which is coming back. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, just called him fat. They wiped away the subtitles in a really cool way. The editing on this series is so good. <laughs> what What is this series? Uh, it's Alive with Brad Leone. It's a Bon Appetit series. It was. <laughs> All right, I think we should wrap this. Well, I, well, I need to see the moment. Well, as you do, skip forward with the arrows. Yeah, this is great. Great listening. Fantastic. Leave it all in. <laughs> That's oh, yeah, so he's, scary. He's using his feet that now is so to scary. bait the fish. Remember our video, Mahalo My Dude video, where we uh, rode with BCPOV on his trail mm-hmm. and we stuck our arm into that hole? Mm-hmm. That was terrifying, mm-hmm. let alone a hole in the water. And you know something's in this hole? Yeah. That is terrifying. No! <laughs> no! That's so scary. Oh my god, this is like f-ing. Sometimes you just have to break out of your comfort zone. Get ready, this get is ready. Called, I'm broke! This Ow! Is <laughs> called type 2 fun that. Oh, what was that? Skip. Oh, I heard it Come right. on, I want the moment. <laughs> yeah, work em. Oh my god, look at Should we do fun. this, guys? I feel like we have to I would, come. I would do this. Up. This is fine. <laughs> you would do this? Yeah, why not? Pass. Oh, it's not going to kill you. Good. <laughs> How could it kill you? I don't I know. There's other things in there. Game. What other things? Uh, Crocs? I don't know. Do you know? No. Okay. <laughs> Depends on where you are. I, was never I would be the boom guy in this situation, and, and, and for sure. I'd be the chest. I'd be the GoPro. 
Is that like a Hero 3? Like, shit is GoPro. Back up. Okay. Oh, guys, the podcast was going so well until we decided to watch a 10 minute video of people screaming at each other. Yeah, these Now we lost everybody. Oh, oh here it is. Where is it? Right here. the music. We're going to get copyright for, for the music? Come here. Yeah. Come here. Oh, my God. Right there. Oh, both hands in his mouth. That's both probably royalty free. Yeah, and also we oh, just talk oh, over it. It'll be yeah, okay. Oh, like those sports announcers. They're just scatting. That feel for him, man. Jeepers! Yeah, buddy! I got it! I got it! This is taking way too long. Okay! Hold on, they got him. Jesus, you got him now. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> uh, get your hand out of his mouth and see what you got. Ow. <laughs> it's not even on his arm. It was. It was. It was. And then they hooked him. Uh, wow. That is massive. That's on his back. That is massive. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. He got really comfortable with that fish. That's catfish? Yeah. Wow. We used, to, we used to have catfish in our uh, ditches where I grew up in Richmond. My brother would fish for catfish. Really? We had catfish? Yeah, catfish. I feel like it? catfish isn't very good eating, is it? We, we used to have lots of things in our ditches <laughs> in Richmond. <laughs> eating. Wow. That's good eating. That's yeah, we had like eat. bullfrogs and catfish. And I remember ca- bulldog. bullfrogs. Bullfrogs. And bullfrogs. Yeah, and yeah bulldogs. we had catfish. Are you Googling right now? Are there yeah. catfish in Richmond? In Canada. I've in never Can- heard there of was catfish in the ditches. That's wild. Yeah, we had catfish. I almost got catfish once. Like man. My brother would, was always catching catfish. Put them in a bucket. Mm-hmm. There are. Eating. There are. There confirmed. Are. They look smaller, but yes. All right. Well, uh, great well. pod. Uh, Dave, did you zone out at all during this podcast? Just only only a couple times. I only yeah. blacked out. Yeah, we, we the almost, almost got into some mountain biking content there. <sighs> almost. Next week, it's going to be heavy on Whistler opening weekend talk. That's where we are <laughs> now. Yeah, he's going to love that. We got Crankworks a couple weeks. Oh, boy. I will just represent the listener that's a, a more general audience yeah, member. You that's know? what you're there for. But in my contempt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't forget to please leave us a review or leave us a comment or say something nice or leave us a speak pipe. Uh, we, we love all that. And if you're a big chother... Go buy a shirt. New shirts. Should mm-hmm. be available now, I hope. We got tie-dye. Tie-dye shirts. We made hand-dyed tie-dye. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, check it all out. All that. Uh, also, follow us on Instagram, please. Leave yes. us speak pipes. We said that? We said that. Do it again. Do it again? Do it again. Like, do it again. Like, do another speak pipe. Okay, yeah, do it again. Yeah, just do it again. Say what? All right. And as always, and as you. always, that was legitness. Thank you for listening to Feeding Off Each Other. Please subscribe for more great podcasts.